Hey, it's Justin with Mastery Tree. This is the second video, and it is also unscripted. The first video went longer than I wanted to, and I, I didn't say this, but I, I am planning on doing two videos a week, and I will continue to strive to make them better every time. So the, the last time I talked about the belief that I felt had made the most uh, harm, that had caused me the most um, lost opportunities, um, damaged relationships, every, everything that I could point to, like it was the root belief that had caused the most harm in my life. And that was the belief that I was not good enough. And and I also got into the idea that that it also has led to some of the biggest blessings, the things that I'm most proud of in my life. And and I the, I the, I made some distinctions since then that I I think are valuable enough to mention, and I think it makes sense to have it in the second video. That there was another belief attached um, that was working together, and because of they were working together, um, good things came of it. That second belief is that there was a yet, that I wasn't done, that, that there, maybe I'm not good enough, but I can figure this out, or I will figure this out. I don't know how yet, but I'm going to be better, do better, find a way. And and the, th the reason why I say that as far as, like I talked about synergy, and I know that's an overused word, but it the idea that, that on their own, you know, there's some potency to some things that, that, like, that's maybe good to focus on one thing. People talk about focusing and the power of focusing. But I think there's a magic that happens when you can blend stuff together, have a couple of things working together. Um, and I've, I've wanted to figure out some new phrase that I don't know that I need to, but it's just that idea that, that sometimes, like, like branches on a tree, Sometimes when you have multiple things going together at the same time, like there is more sustainability. There's, it's just, it just is better. And I use this as an example a, a couple times. I, I know like some people have, like if you're trying to get, gain virtues, like one of the things that I have my list is, is to gain personal virtues, um, attributes, um, and you know, I could I could focus and say I'm okay. I'm going to just focus on honesty. I'm going to be completely honest. Like period. The problem is, is if you just focus on one virtue, it sounds really good. But the problem is, is if if you isolate that, and there's some blind spots, and there's some, I guess, potential collateral damage that can happen, right? Because if you don't have kindness attached to honesty, um, it could be cruelty. And it doesn't need to be. And honesty itself, it should be able to, you should be able to be completely honest. I think there's people who would, you know, would argue that. And I don't know that they really have a lot of grounds to stand on. I think it's just the idea of, of whatever concerns people have as far as saying, well, I don't know if I can be completely honest. I think it's because they haven't partnered something like kindness with it. Um, you know, we can be silent if... Um, if we can't say something and anyways, that's the thing is, is I know you could argue both sides, but, and, and I can, reality is for me that I've struggled more like the idea of kindness, like it's, if it's by itself as well, like I know most of, well, I can say most half of the country, I think really struggles thinking that they are being kind, thinking that they're wanting to help other people, <clears throat> that everybody deserves a handout, that things we should take care of everybody um, and be more compassionate. And, and I think in my life, I've seen at least if you have an over helping, I get too much of a helping of kindness and maybe not enough accountability or, or whatever, or maybe even honesty, like the idea of looking at reality, you can enable people. You can, there's a lot of harm that can be done. Um, th you think you're being kind, um, and, and things can get worse because of that so anyways the reason i bring all that up like i said it was this it was the second part there's a reason I, why i was able to blend those two together and have that be something that has led to so many of the things that i'm really been blessed with and been proud of in my life because those beliefs were partnered together and there's also beliefs of that uh, just uh, the idea that you know 
there's a new beginning tomorrow. Like an idea of forgiveness and letting go. Like I messed up today, but I'm going to figure out how to move forward. So there's, there's a blend. And that's why I say the mastery tree is more about the idea of how to be intentional to grow in multiple areas of life. Um, and it needs to, ha there needs to be, we, we're not just black and white. We're not binary creatures. It's life is complex, especially nowadays. It's more complex than it ever has been. Uh, we have more options, more anxiety attached to all that than we ever have. And I, I do believe that if we're more intentional about our plans, about the things that we're trying to grow, it, it just becomes more enjoyable and more sustainable. And so I'm really excited this. So that's basically the content for this video. Now this is just looking ahead. As far as this next video and this next week, I've been really excited because I New Year's is coming up, but I know New Year's has kind of a bad name or it's not so much that. Everybody just jokes and for good reason, I guess that there's so many New Year's resolutions that are just ridiculous, right? The results are ridiculous. Like we get all these plans and get all excited and, and I think there's really a lot of value to that, a lot of energy and a lot of excitement. I do, I have found a framework and I wish that I would have known this before because I, I would set all these resolutions and set these goals and think I'm so excited I'm, I'm going to do this no matter what this year. And and sometimes I would achieve them and at least a couple of them. And, and I always went for a lot. I, I always thought, well, if I'm not going to get all of them, then maybe if I do, you know, 10 goals like big things for this year then if i just get a couple then that's better than maybe just getting a you know one or two and not getting anything right so so that was my approach and what i found is is that because i set it up in a way that i was going after one thing kind of like that one belief or that one virtue it it actually it, it had negative effects on other parts of my life I was causing myself to sacrifice things that were meaningful to me. Um, maybe I was, you know, focused on a goal for financial gain and I was sacrificing health and relationships. Um, well, I say maybe. I, I, I've definitely gone that path. Um, I've gone the path of trying to f pursue some relationships and, and figure out that part as part of my life. And, and I caused harm by not fulfilling my job duties the way I, as good as I probably should have and there is ripple effects from that and the funny thing is is when when you do that when you work on one goal and it seems to cause pain in other parts of your life it's really hard to sustain it and it's also really hard to enjoy the process and if you do achieve it a lot of times there's regret involved as well as some other collateral damage. Um, there's just a lot of problems that, you know, with the, it's just, and it's about not being intentional, not having a, a, maybe a little bit better perspective. And, and part of this is it's not, I'm not trying to say that it's easy because it isn't, but it's, it's so much nicer to have a framework to, to use. And so these next videos are about that. I will put together the framework that I found and it was, I wish that I came up with it. It's not mine, obviously. It's um, when I share it with you, you'll see. Uh, it's been around a long time, but just almost nobody uses it. And um, because of that, I, I think sometimes when we have something right in front of us, it's really easy to ignore it. Um, and sometimes it's just because we don't apply it the right way too. I, like it's, yeah. Anyways, I, I'm hopeful that this, video has had some value to you that that you can see that it really matters that as far as trying to pursue multiple things is okay it's actually beneficial um i do think one of the most important and most powerful beliefs you can have is that there is a yet no matter what i'm going through right now no matter like how bad life is and stuff like there's a way i can figure this out i can get through this no matter what i'm facing I'm, I maybe not be good enough right now to figure this out, but I can fig I can like I can learn, I can grow, I can talk to people, I can access some. You know, I will find a way. Um, I think that's one of the most important beliefs that anyone can, can cultivate and, and nourish. And so, I use, I'll use a lot of words like 
nourish and cultivate and all that. It's just because I like trees and that's what Master Tree is about. So um, take care and I'll get this other stuff all ready for you for next week.